it's cast if this is your first time here i think we should be just taking a quick moment to just hit the subscribe button and tippity tap the bell listen get notifications so you can stay tuned and join us weekly it just makes sense personally if you're returning this week thank you so much for coming back please hit the bell if you have not done so already this week we are doing a part two to my aliexpress fall try on haul and this is the accessories portion of course i just needed a few things to add to my closet to spice up my fall and i want to share that with you guys so if you want to see the pieces that i got then please just stay tuned all right guys so the first piece that i want to show you guys is this shopple that i'm wearing mm -hmm. i know you guys are just like hats you don't normally wear hats in your intro so this must be part of the haul and you were right you are absolutely right listen this hat i just knew i needed i originally had like a brown fedora that i had but those hats are just a little bit too bulky for me like the brims are extra wide which is fun and then the back is a little bit big too which is great if you have a big head like me but those hats are just so ginormous that wearing them out is just kind of like a task for me because sometimes you want to take your hat off, sit it on the table and relax and then you want to pop it back on. So I wanted to get something a little bit smaller which is why I stumbled upon this little bowler hat. The only thing is is that this hat does not fit me as well as I wanted it to. It does fit for obviously I'm trying to wear it like at the base of my head. Since I'm an avid wig wearer, obviously that makes my head just a smidge bit bigger. So that's where my dilemma came in with this hat. When I first put it on, I could like low-key hear it like slowly coming off of my head. It's like when you pop a little small hole in a balloon and you just hear the air slowly coming out. That's how I felt with this hat. I know it's a weird analogy, but that's literally how I felt when I put this hat on for the first time so I kept like put it on for a few days and I was like maybe I'm just putting it on wrong I don't know what it is about today maybe it's the way that I'm sitting my wig on but this boy is staying on I have yet to hear this deflating noise and it has not moved one bit I've been wearing it for about 20 minutes so no movement it did just randomly pop off my head though when I was out in the hallway but of course I was gallivanting with my sisters so I was obviously doing too much still I probably would not wear this out just because I know that it will pop off of my head and that's not the look I'm going for I needed to stay on so this is the next piece guys another chapel listen I love this hat mainly because it reminds me of something that T and Tamara would wear in the early years of Sister Sister. They had so many funky hats on that show and I loved all of them and I just love like the bucket hat kind of feel because you can just like tug it on. It's not something that you have to like really worry about. If your hair's looking crazy underneath who cares as long as the bottom bundles are laid baby you know what i'm saying so like i really do enjoy it i was really hoping to get this in like a baby blue or um like a baby pink kind of color but they don't have those colors for like any hats really on aliexpress as far as like shapes like this like i wanted a blue or pink bucket hat type of thing with the fur they don't have that option i've been scouring the interweb for it if you know of any options like that please drop the link down below thank you so the thing i love most about this hat guys is how densely packed the actual faux fur is on the hat it's extremely soft which is really nice as well because some faux fur can really feel almost like prickly and it hurts this one is very gentle on the skin it's just a nice feeling to just caress this hat you know what i mean so the next thing i want to show you guys are these earrings they are just these gold hoop earrings with these pearl detailing on them when i say these are just so beautifully made very sturdy like i don't feel like these pearls will pop off at any time and the reason i say that is because they actually weave them in and then they pierce the hole through the pearl and the wire is weaved through the pearl and then wrapped around again so it's very very nicely made the only thing is when i was getting these from the picture they looked a lot bigger and this wasn't like the aliexpress picture this was like the inspiration picture that they used so that picture the girls ones were like they were huge you know like those really really big hoops so i was like oh those would be so nice so i thought that's how these would be but they're not that big they are a decent size i just wanted them to kind of be a little bit big because i had this idea in my head of like a beautiful top knot with my natural hair these huge earrings and like a very light makeup look with like a pink lip oh it was gonna just be fabulous i mean it still is gonna be fabulous but it would have been more exciting if the earrings were just a little bit bigger all right guys the next piece of jewelry that i have to show you guys is a toe ring i wear my toe rings year round and the one that i had for the past three years from kohl's finally just clocked out on me it was like a sterling silver never turned a brassy color or turned my toe ring so i wore her year round it was just a very simple band but she finally said listen sis i, I have to go into retirement i can no longer accommodate you and i was like let me get your pension together because you gave me a good run hasta la pasta sis 
so this one is very cute i decided to get something with a little bit more style this time this one is a cuban chain link toe ring and it's to die for it i love this that it's just so beautiful on i really do love the detailing i was kind of concerned about the fact that it is a style and not a plain just band just because i wore one over the summer when i was trying to compensate for the fact that i did not have one anymore so i got one from like forever 21 or something that had like a raised detailing and it wreaked havoc on my toe when i wore like sneakers once over the summer so i was just like i gotta let this go so i haven't been wearing one since this one though does not cause any issues with the raised detailing at all. It doesn't make my toe uncomfortable. It works great in boots, in my work sneakers. Like I said, I wear these year round and I don't ever take the one that I'm wearing off. So I need something that I know is not going to affect my foot in any way. I have not tested if it'll turn brassy or turn my toe green. Just because the next piece of jewelry I'm going to be showing you guys, I have been taking off when I get in the shower because I feel like it will turn and I don't want it to. So since I'm already down, by my foot I'm just like let me just take the toe ring off too so eventually I will test this out and I'll keep you guys informed even if it does turn though I'll probably just get a few extra because I love it that much the next piece of jewelry is this anklet and I really just wanted another anklet to stack on top of the one that I wear consistently so the one that I wear now my mom gave me years ago and I've been wearing that one but I just wanted to add something just a little you know a pop on top of her just to give her a little help like hey girl you have a buddy down there what's up it's me so I found this one on AliExpress and it just has my birth date year which is 1994 and it's in a gothic type of font. It's absolutely stunning like it's just very simplistic but with the way the 1994 is the size of it everything about this anklet and how they made it is just absolutely adorable. So it looks like you have two anklets on even though it's one because it's stackable. It does kind of get twisted and tangled a little bit but I mean I just untangle it and move on necklaces or anklets like this with the thin chains that are stackable they're always going to get tangled so it's just kind of something you have to choose to live with and then it also has just like a dangling piece right here it's very adorable and it's not too much because the one that i have on right now is kind of thick if this one was bulky i'd have to take the other one off where it would look a little bit too weird all right guys that is the end of the video i hope that you enjoy these pieces that i showed you if you guys have any favorite accessories from aliexpress that you love so much please drop the links down below let's just share what we know from aliexpress guys because i feel like a lot of people shop on there and it's always a great way to have confidence to make your first purchase from there if you have not as you can see i truly do love getting stuff from them so i would love for, to be able to see different things because there's so many other things that i have not seen on aliexpress i'm sure so it'll be awesome to be able to see what you guys are getting as always all the information and links will be in the description box down below i love you guys so much and i'll see you in the next one bye